Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. Well, it's a beautiful day. I hope you're getting out there and enjoying this beautiful hump day. Yeah, it's Wednesday, baby. Isn't that what? Wednesday's Prince Spaghetti Day? Yeah, there we go. Stop boiling that pasta, babies. Get that water started. Let's call in spirit, because I feel like reading some tarot. How about you? You feel like reading some tarot? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to my channel, and it helps me tune into your energy as a side bonus, baby. So let's go. Spirit, guides, and angels of the whitest light. <sighs> I'm so happy I'm in this vehicle right now. It's so nice and cool. Thank you, Spirit, for your conditioning. I hope it's cool wherever my collective is. Please protect me as I channel these messages, as I open myself up to this, to this channeling. Please protect my collective. Please give me a clear message, one of understanding, healing, and hope for those viewing. Thank you so much for your blessings, Spirit. We so love you. Amen. All right. I'm shuffling like crazy to get rid of the other energy that was on these cards. Get out, devil. We want it today. We want some good messages. So let's cross our fingers and our toes and hope for the best, shall we? All right. I'm done with this shuffling. I've shuffled enough. I shuffled even before I got on, so I really wanted to clear the decks. Not three times on the ceiling if you want me. <laughs> All right, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Justice. Justice is coming for you and you and you and maybe you too. Maybe you over there looking. Maybe you. Yeah, karmic justice and honesty. Yes, we want justice, baby. Eight of Swords is air energy. Let's see, what is that? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody was feeling entrapped or imprisoned. Now, if I get to go into my spiel now, you know it, you know it. You can always skip ahead for those that are used to this. Um, these are collective readings, collective meaning any energy, any sign. Energy doesn't have a gender, but I do use the terms he or she, male or female. These are 3D terms. Please don't get trapped, trapped, stuck on that. Don't do it. These are timeless readings, so whenever you tuned in, spirit was motivating you to tune in. That's what I'm thinking. But if it doesn't resonate, check your placements. You have more than one astrological sign in your chart. And with that also said, it could be past, present, or future energy. Now, the roles can be reversed. You know your story, so flip the roles. I could be saying you and meaning your person, or saying your person and meaning you. Only you know the story and maybe you don't and that's why you're tuning in so I'm glad I'm happy I'm honored to be able to bring you these readings thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes and your shares it means the world to me it really does thank you thank you so much Mwah! I love you all right so somebody feeling trapped past present or future feeling stuck okay and why are they feeling stuck spirit spirit because somebody of uh, the emperor in reverse has been domineering, controlling them. Yeah, maybe a father figure, maybe a person that is a father, maybe their friend, maybe a family member. Take the rules, flip them as you see. So who is this person spirit? Who is this emperor? Can you give me that spirit? Can you give me it? Um, now there's the queen of pentacles in reverse. Dear Lord, here we go ungrounded, mean-spirited, possessive, smothering, a bad mother, using dark magic. My God, it's toxic. Posse, seven. Only the shadow knows. Yeah, this could be a couple, the emperor and the empress. I mean, the emperor and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Yes, jealousy has been a big part in keeping your person stuck possessive wants to control your person like it's their person or something like it's their like it's their kid or something in a sense of wanting to control this person even though this is a as my friend would say a grown-ass adult <laughs> this is the queen of pentacles is controlling the chessboard 
and the emperor as well. Amber's got a say in it as well. But more than the emperor is the queen of pentacles, even though the emperor is the head of this shenanigans, or at least seemingly the head of it, it's really the queen of pentacles that started all this nonsense, to be honest with you. The fool in reverse, yeah, they made bad choices indecision and trust issues because these toxic friends said something against you and they believed them because they known these part these two people longer um, i'm getting it's a couple and yeah the hierophant commitment and tradition that's what they wanted but these people made it their mission to not have that happen and it started with the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles was jealous of you yeah because the emperor in reverse wanted you to there we go it's out it's out in the open now baby yeah the queen of pentacles was pissed because her man wanted you to Ooh. now the emperor is secretly competing with your person so they're going to go along with what the queen of pentacles is doing because they don't want you to come towards your person and be in union and your person has no idea these toxic friends are doing all this nonsense playing their chess game you know checkmate 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 mm. Now there's a queen of wands too. What? Oh my God. Troublemaker, vengeful, low confidence, unfaithful, OMGG. This is just ridiculous. I can't even believe these people exist in the world. I, I really can't. Until I learned about tarot, I had no idea that there was pathetic people in the world doing magic behind people's backs, keeping them stuck, doing black magic, blood magic, moon magic, water magic, uh, what is it, ugly magic, uh, no confidence magic, I want you to crawl on the ground magic, so stupid. All this nonsense to keep people stuck because they're jealous and petty. Straight up, jealous, petty, vengeful. Hello, not everybody's as fabulous as me, I'm sorry. Sorry, baby, but you're gonna talk, you're gonna howl at the moon about it? Get over it. Yeah, this is the Queen of Wands, air and uh, air energy. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Yeah, this, this is a person who's in with these people. And in fact, I have a funny feeling that this person was turned on to these jealous friends. This jealous Queen of Pentacles turned your person on to this Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody similar to her. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, baby. Yeah. Dress with low cut. Bosoms hanging. Yeah, bend over a little bit because they got to see it all. This person will fly to you, baby. Chase you. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Have mercy. Spirit, come through. Am I wrong or am I wrong? Am I wrong or am I wrong? You know I'm right. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Six of Cups in reverse. Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Oh, man. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, childhood issues that left them feeling like your person. So that when these people came along with their song and their dance, you know, their song and their dance, he, they believed them. You know, they fell for it, lock, sock, and barrel because the this couple that they're friends with drink with, party with, you know, <sighs> nice bone, no seeds, <sighs> kind of people they hang with, yeah, they turned them on to this person, this is a good girl, you know, you're going to like this person, and they believed them, you don't want to go with that one, you don't want to go with your person, yeah, I know you like that person, but give it up, give it up, baby, give it up, because they're not for you. But this one, I can give you a person. You want a person? I got a person. I got a sexy person. I got a person that's like ready, willing, able to do whatever. We're going to be doing the most. Yeah, doing the most. Yeah, let me have a drink now after this one. Yeah, ch ch cheers, baby. Doing the most. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll tell you what. I don't go into details about doing the most. Because that's not kind of channel I want to talk about that stuff. But you can imagine what doing the most is. And if you can't, there's a few other tower readers that I like to listen to <laughs> that will go into details, baby, about what doing the most is. Yikes. But magic being one of them, these people are doing magic together, almost like a coven, if you want to look that up. And 
there's more than one person in this coven covenant I think I'm saying it right where they're doing magic to like special moons um, a person's picture I don't even want to talk about blood magic it makes me want to hurl that anybody be that disgusting but bleh. Mm -mm -mm. it is not what you think it's worse it's worse than what you think oh my god give it up nasty 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 disgusting Ooh, god's gonna get you karma's gonna get you man i can't this stuff is getting stuck back on these people though they're sending you bad magic and it's getting stuck back on them it's not hitting you it's not hitting you spirit is protecting you these people are fools that they think it's it's even getting to you. It's not. It's going straight to your person. Yeah, they're feeling the effects of it. Because they're putting it in their food and their drink. <laughs> but it ain't sticking on you. Seven of Wands. Uh, they're standing up for their beliefs, though. They're trying to defend themselves against this toxic people. Because your relationship with them was under attack from the beginning. And maybe at first they believed them, but now they're seeing another side of you. They're seeing another side of this, these people. They're seeing another side of this connection between the two of you. Because they're watching you, baby. Ooh, and they are liking what they see. So the problem with this lies that these people said, which started with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, is that they love you too much to even care anymore. You know, they're saying that they're running through the whole place. You know what I mean? Maybe you worked in the same place with them. Say, for an example, you were working in the same place, right? Same company with this person. And this is a bunch of toxic friends that they they hang with. They've been hanging with for years, right? Because they work there. And that you came on the scene, whatever. They look and they were liking what they seen, right? But this Queen of Pentacles was jelly because her man wanted you too, right? There you go. So they were determined to get rid of you, right? So they go and say, you're running through the place. You, you're flirting with everybody. You're cheating with everybody. You're nothing but a gold digger. You just want them because they got a high position, they're boss, you know? And they're just gonna use you. But I got a better person over here, you know? They're successful. They're going places in this world. They would be a better fit for you. Let me introduce you. You're gonna have a lot in common with this person. And this person was already flirting on him anyways. The worst part about it is, and I even hate to say it, this was a person you used to hang with when you worked there. So this person, okay, saw your person looking at you. And maybe you even made a comment about it that this person looks at you, you know, when you go on break and stuff, they were always watching you. And they looked and all of a sudden it was like jealousy hit them. Jealousy hit them. And they were like, really? They're looking at you? Because maybe you're a little not the usual type. Maybe you're, you don't look like them, right? And you don't got your, your bosoms hanging out. You don't got your, you know, booty cutters on, whatever. You're not, you're not that kind of person. You're a very modest person. And maybe you're not, you know, fit and fiddle. You know, fit as a fiddle. Maybe you're a little chunky or whatever. So they're looking at you like, oh, please. That person couldn't possibly want somebody like you. Oh, but I know they'll want me. And so they went after your person based on that. And they got him. They did. They got him away from you. And this person stopped bothering with you, stopped talking to you, and went to this person. They got what they wanted, but they didn't get what they wanted because this person's going to get dumped if they haven't already. Past, present, or future. Just letting you know, baby, pack your bags because you ain't lasting long. You did the most, but now you're going to be left quick. Because really, yeah. My uncle used to say that, you know, God bless the willing, you know, after a while, after six pack, anybody looks, after 12 pack, anybody looks good, right? You know, you got to give it up for, you know, you, it, there's something to be said for somebody that's just got their panties off and they're just ready and willing with their legs spread. But do you stay with a person like that? No. No, you don't. You spend time with them. Yeah. Use them up and spit them out. You don't marry them. You don't put a ring on it. So either way, baby, do what you gotta do. Do what you gots to do, but you walk from that situation anyways. You're far removed from these people and their foolishness. Uh, they got a plan of action, page of pentacles. They wanna communicate with you now. They're seeing you glowing up. And they're growing up and realizing what they want, their priorities. Yeah, they don't want these loose women. They may have wanted them for a time. Loose women, loose men, take it how it resonates. I'm thinking masculine though, man. I'm thinking man and woman here. Yeah. But 
You take what resonates, baby. And they don't want those loose people anymore. That was fun for a time, but now they're growing up and realizing what they want. They want to put a ring on it. They want to commit to something real. They want to commit to a good person. They want to commit to a good girl. Yeah. They've had their fun. Now they want, they recognize it for what it is, temporary. It's all temporary. And they want permanency in you. They see permanency in you. They see a future with you. They see children with you. They see a life with you that they didn't see before with anybody else. Not even this person who thought that they were gonna get a ring on. They thought that things were gonna work out for them. It's not working out for them anymore. It won't work out for them. Even if it hasn't yet happened, it won't work out for this person. They're gonna be left out in the cold. All right, spirit, let's wrap it up. What else you got for me, baby? What else you got for me, my spiritual guru? My fabulous friend? What do you got for me? Anything else to add to this? Yeah, they want a peaceful resolution. They're moving on from whatever it is. Moving on, moving on up. Yep. Yeah. Five of swords in reverse. Four of pentacles. Yeah, they were, they were possessive and controlling too. They held back from you. They were closed off from you. But now they want to open up to you. They didn't give to you like they gave to that other person. Uh, they didn't give much to that person. I mean, they gave to that person, if you know what I'm saying. Ew. They gave it good, but they held back their heart. It wasn't their heart they were given. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> All right. The magician, manipulation, trickery. There's so much illusions in this, in this foolishness, this toxic swill that's going on so much manipulation oy, 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 oy. but they're coming out of this yeah they're recovering positive change they're getting out of the coal five pentacles they want to get out of the coal they want to revive this connection between the two of you because they just cannot get over you i just can't quit you oh i know baby you can't ace of wands in reverse there's been delays and blocks no action not speaking to each other yeah you moved on from that place you were working with these people you don't work with them anymore they can do all they want, baby, but spirit is protecting you. Don't you worry about that. Your spirit is honest. The moon, illusions, trickery. I'm not kidding you. Hidden intentions. These people want to keep your person stuck. They played this game very, very well, but they are not going to win the chess match. They're not. Nine of cups. Wish You're their wish, for, you're their wish granted. So despite this foolishness, despite what they're doing, despite you know putting doubt in your person's mind about you, it's not going to work out. It isn't because love is going to win in the end. The power of love, the power of truth is going to win over this deception, this foolishness, this trickery. They are not going to win in the end. You can better be you best believe on that. All right, I got to get back to work. I'm wishing you a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Please like and subscribe and join me next time for Empress Aries 888. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.